Hey guys. Okay. So first thing we're going to look at is straight off the bat, we should be able to tell these are difference of two squares um, because the first and second terms are both perfect squares, perfect squares, perfect squares, and they're separated by a subtraction sign. So I'm going to go ahead and do number one with you. I'm going to take the square root of X squared, which is going to give me X. And I'm going to take the square root of 36. And that's going to give me six. So what I know is I'm going to have one version as X minus six and the other version as X plus six. So I take my X and my six and one of them is a negative and the other one's a positive. Okay. Well, next thing that we need to do is we see that these, well, obviously they're perfect square trinomials, right? Otherwise they wouldn't have given them to us. So we, um, are going to do number five together. I am going to um, see if there's a GCF to factor out first, and there isn't. So I'm going to take 4x squared, and I'm going to take the square root of it, which is going to give me 2x. And I'm going to take 9, and I'm going to take the square root of it, which is going to give me 3. And if I want to, I can multiply them together, 2x times 3, which would give me 6x. And if I took that 6x, and I multiplied it by 2, I would have 12x, which is my middle term. So that lets me know that I do it right. But all I need to do is take these two terms and write them in a parenthesis. Um, so it's 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. Or if you wanted to write it, which I actually prefer you do, is 2x plus 3 squared. All right, I'm going to warn you right now, this one is not a perfect square trinomial, so you are just going to need to factor it. Plain old Jane old factor, okay? That's my hint for this one. This one I will do with you. This one says, hey, look for a GCF first. So you're going to see that um, mm, they are all divisible by 3. So I'm going to factor out a 3, and I'm going to end up with 2x squared plus 3x minus nine. Okay, that's great. Now what I'm going to do is I have to factor this guy right here. So again, I'll multiply my first and my last terms and I'll end up with a negative 18 and I'll bring down that middle brother nobody likes. Number three or guy three and I'll think, hey, what multiplies to negative 18 but adds to a positive three? Well, that would be six and negative three. Okay, great. Now I can just factor it. So I'm going to take two x squared the start of the problem right here. Now, plus 6x minus 3x minus 9. And I'm just going to factor by GC or factor by grouping. So I'll look here and see that they both have a 2 and an x. So I'll factor that out. And I'll be left with x plus 3. And here I'll see that they have. Well, actually, I'll see that my third term is negative, so I'll factor out a 3, and I'll have an x plus 3. Oh, and then I have matching matching parentheses, so I'm all set. So I'm going to have 2x minus 3 in one set of parentheses, and x plus 3 in another. Then I can't forget that GCF that I started with, so that goes on that very outside. So this is actually a really good problem one you can expect to see on your test. So keep in mind for that. Um, factoring by grouping, factoring out a GCF, I feel like you guys should be good on those. So those are the three that I really wanted to give you a tip on. All right, guys, hope it helps. Bye.